so you can't really smell anything that is comforting, which is really sad. You remind us all the time of why we're here on this platform. I'm thankful for you guys. <laughs> update today is day five and I can hardly smell anything it's just like that sick smell so you can't really smell anything that is comforting which is really sad <laughs> like I have oils going in the diffuser but I can't even smell them and it's making me sad I just feel really tired and weak and blah and I have like no motivation and no energy to do anything even though I want to do everything and I don't want to just lay here and I'm bored laying here <clears throat> it's frustrating because I'm a doer and I know I need to rest but I don't want to because I'm bored I've been watching YouTube videos I can't sleep I like try and then I have weird dreams so I've just given up and I'm just laying here. <sighs> and also, I'm just like annoyed because, like, not only do I obviously not feel good, but I have all these people calling me, like, having to talk to my work and the school for the kids and the health department calls and, like, all of them. And they're like, okay, you need to do this and this and this. And, like, I, I know, like, Maybe there are like a lot of other people that they don't know what to do, but like I'm in the healthcare field I know I know what to do and I'm just like annoyed because everyone's like this and this I know I shouldn't be annoyed, but it's just like when you don't feel good. You're not in your right state of mind and so everything is like amplified and So yeah, I'm just like, okay, I don't feel good. I don't want to deal with all of you people but I have to because I'm an adult and and that's life. So, Brandon's doing everything he can. He's doing an amazing job. This morning, when I was down with the kids, I found half of a crayon all chewed up in Brielle's mouth. So I had to quickly wash my hands and then get it out. Hey guys. So, um, it's still day five. I just showered and it's nighttime. So let's review symptoms real quick. I have like sinus pressure and congestion. I can't smell and I can't really taste anymore. If it's really strong, I can smell it. Like if I hold a bottle of essential oil under my nose and sniff, I can smell it, but I have it in a diffuser, can't smell it. I had a donut earlier, couldn't really taste it, which was really sad. Um, I feel just tired and blase, a little cough. And, um, oh, yesterday I had like a wet towel and I was just kind of like foot mopping, like swishing the floor just to get it a little bit clean. And I used some vinegar too. And the vinegar smelled so weird. Like it didn't smell like vinegar, but it smelled weird. And like, I didn't really like it. It was so strange. It's like, so strange, like altered smell. Not even like I couldn't smell. It was like altered smell. So yesterday was like diminished smell, kind of like, and that was weird. It was just like, it smelled different. It didn't smell like vinegar. It was so strange. I can't even explain it to you guys. Today, I just can't really smell anything. But um, other thing I was gonna say in this vlog of what it's like to have coronavirus is that on top of everything being like physically blah and everything, there's the emotional and mental part of it. And I'm finding that it's hard to not let having this virus define me. It's like, it doesn't make who I am. It doesn't change who I am. It doesn't, I mean, it maybe changes how I feel, but like, it doesn't have to dictate my mindset. And I don't have to sink into depression, which is kind of like what it's been for the last couple of days. Cause just, there's so much unknown and I don't know what's going to happen with work and now the kids being out of school for so long and having to deal with that and just there being so many unknowns but that's nothing new like there are so many other situations that you could be in that 
you don't know what the outcome is going to be or how long you'll be in this season and when you'll find answers if ever sometimes in life and so I kind of just got convicted by that um and not letting this define who I am or how I think because what defines me is what God says about me and am I really reading his word am I making sure that what I'm hearing is what he's saying and not just like how I'm feeling or what the world says and I just was really like convicted by that and maybe you need to hear that today too like just because you have a disease or you're in a situation or you feel a certain way about yourself like that doesn't make it the truest thing the truest thing about you is what God says about you and so do you know what God says about you you know and it just like rejuvenated me to go back into the Bible and see what it is he says and so that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow oh also um tonight we ate dinner outside we've been trying to get outside because it's better than being in the circulated air in the house and so Brandon got food curbside pickup didn't have to come in contact with anyone picked it up we ate outside and kids have been playing in the pool so I'm gonna insert some clips of them Do you want me <laughs> Thankfully, we had just gotten this pool and like the splash pad like a few days before finding out. I mean, it was Amazon anyway, so probably would have ordered it then if we hadn't already. But they've been having a blast and so that's been really fun. We've been trying to just get outside more take a walk when I feel like walking um, just to get some vitamin D which is supposed to be good for you I know it could be worse I'm really thankful I'm not in the hospital if I haven't said that already I'm thankful I'm not in the hospital that's good night for now peace it's day six <clears throat> I don't lay in bed all day although a lot of the day I do just I feel exhausted all the time like I have run a marathon and I've been going all day and I just like walk to the bathroom and back and I'm like so tired. I feel like I've been hit by a train or a truck or a semi and just the thought about like having to go downstairs to get water, I'm like so exhausted and um, so I'm hoping this passes really quickly. Also pretty nauseous. And I wasn't sure like if it was what I ate for dinner because I can't taste or smell anything. So I'm like, oh my gosh, what if what I ate was not good? It was like gone bad. And I was like, Brandon, I feel like I need to vomit. And I like ran to the bathroom and it was just, <coughs> it was bad. And then also like a lot of sinus pressure and like runny nose, like watery eyes, you know, like when you have a sinus cold and a little cough and, um, it's just like I'm so tired and I'm tired of being tired and I'm tired of laying around and oh my gosh for people who have chronic illnesses I don't know how you do it it must be through the Lord's strength because oh my gosh I that's a whole nother level it's like I don't know if I need to eat because, but I just feel so sick like nothing sounds appetizing and so yeah and then, you know, it's hard not to feel like an outcast when you won't do anything or see anyone and everyone's like, oh no, we have to stay away from you, which everyone is anyways, because like everyone's social distancing mostly, so. But we had some sweet friends. Um, we bought a bike for Benjamin and online and they did curbside pickup for us and then they dropped it at our gate and then it was raining, of course, when they did it. And then 
We texted and they're like, okay, we dropped it off, go get it, hurry. So we ran out and got the bike and Benjamin was so excited. Ran and built it and we have a helmet coming tomorrow for him. So hopefully I feel like walking, you know, down the street and back with him. <coughs> so he can start to learn a bike. It has training wheels. He was too big for his tricycle really and he needs to learn how to ride a bike so we're starting with the training wheels he's excited and he has to start virtual school now next week and he was going to go to school until obviously all this happened and now he can't go back for a few weeks so we have to do virtual school and i just want to throw this out there too is that you know, there's so many people talking about homeschooling and oh, we just decided to homeschool this year because of everything going on and it's like, that's great, but like to homeschool, you have to be home and we both have jobs where we have to be outside of the house and it's just been like weighing on me more and more. Like, I really wish I had the option to homeschool, but, but we don't because I'm not home. And Brandon is working from home, but he he's not able to like devote the time to homeschool them. And you know, if there was gonna be one of us, it'd probably be me more primarily because I'm the mom. Like I want to, you know, he wants to be outside of the house, but he has to work from home, which I'm grateful that he can. Um, but to do my job, I have to be out and in the hospital. And um, you know, I kind of just have been realizing over the last like year that I don't want to do that forever and there are many reasons why we started our YouTube channel but um, one of them is, is I'd like to be able to stay home and I'd like the option if I choose to be able to homeschool and especially with everything going on and with the way the world is like not to say we would do it forever maybe but like Right now, we're paying for school and he can't even go. I mean, he's doing it online, but like, it's a lot of money. <laughs> it's a lot of money. And we're still having to do all the work and take off time from work or figure out how to do it. And it's just like, why? You know, and we love our school, so it's nothing against our school. We love the teachers and Benjamin loves going and... <clears throat> But in this season, it's kind of like, well, now he's out for like a month. So I'd like the option, you know? And um, so we started our channel and we're monetized. And if you didn't know, we started a Patreon and a YouTube membership, which you can find the info down below in the description box. Um, but we also have a lot of other plans of... Um, some digital stuff we want to make to sell some other big things in the future but more on that down the road but this community that we are starting have started is so much bigger than what is right in front of us and it will be bigger lord willing and we're just getting started but there's going to be a point where i can't do any more because I've reached capacity working 40 hours a week and trying to do this on the side between the two of us. So <clears throat> we just want to <clears throat> <coughs> give ourselves room to open up the doors. So that's kind of where we're at, trying to open the doors. So if you feel led, support us. <clears throat> Go to our Amazon shop, you know. But mostly we love all of your <clears throat> encouragement that you guys give us and your comments and you remind us all the time of why we're here on this platform so check in with you later hey guys um <clears throat> today is day nine it's tuesday after a week of my symptoms starting on monday and the last two days so seven and eight were by far like the worst. I just, I didn't do any videos. I mean, I could barely do anything. <clears throat> I was so like exhausted, so weak. Going to the bathroom was a struggle. I'm having to force myself to eat because 
you know, you just don't realize how much your taste and smell like ties into your appetite. And I literally can't taste or smell anything. So nothing it sounds appealing so I just like don't want to eat but then I have these like weird <clears throat> like pangs like and they must be hunger pangs but like it's associated so much with like taste and smell so like I literally don't have like hunger like as far as like I feel like I want to eat a certain thing or a flavor because like nothing tastes like anything it's the, it's the weirdest thing and I hear that those symptoms last the longest so it's like Oh, great. I don't know. I could just eat the most healthy things that taste horrible because I can't taste them. So, like, I had a whole, like, little bowl of vegetables and couldn't taste them. So, I'm like, well, at least I'm getting nutrients. Brandon is trying to make sure I'm eating. But literally, the last two days were the worst and I couldn't, couldn't do anything. I'm just so exhausted. Last night, I had, like, the worst <coughs> migraine. Like... I'm telling you, I was up for like hours with just pain. I put ice pack on, I had Tylenol, then I had ibuprofen a couple hours later. It was just so bad. And I'm still trying to do, we have like a little pull socks thing. So let me do it now, let's see. Let's see what it says. Posted our first update video on my experience. Oh, 99. So that's good. Oxygen is still good. So that's good. And then symptoms went like way downhill. There's been such an outpouring of like encouragement and some of you sharing your own experiences. And <clears throat> I'm thankful I'm not alone. You guys have been so encouraging and supportive and have been praying and just so thankful for this community <coughs> and um i feel for you guys that that have been through this so far brandon is um okay he still has his sense of smell and taste he got tested yesterday and we should get results today or tomorrow <coughs> and um he's just feeling really run down but it could be from just taking care of us or lack of sleep and he's trying to take it easy He's taken off some work days to try to help and we're trying to get stuff set up for Benjamin to start a virtual school, which is a whole other thing. And we're just like, just exhausted and just trying to take it one day at a time and praying that the Lord sustains us because I mean, there's literally no other way. I mean, no one can physically come here and help us. It's kind of like, we're all we've got and we have had people reaching out asking to bring us dinner or order us dinner drop it off at our gate and so we're so appreciative of that because making food is hard i feel like i sound so out of breath because talking <laughs> is so taxing but god gives us strength every morning we're thankful for our community thankful for you guys anyways i feel like i'm rambling so try to check in with you guys later peace out